I'm going to introduce ISAD, an interactive sound event detector. Detecting and labeling audio events is essential in many areas, such as labeling speech recordings with speaker names and labeling nature recordings with bird species. The problem is finding and labeling individual sound events within a long audio file is tedious and time-consuming. To label audio fast, we could use automated detection techniques using machine learning. However, they typically require predetermined sound classes, a large amount of label data, and fine-tuning for specific applications. And it's also not reliable for practical use. Many existing audio editing applications just provide a simple annotation environment where a user manually selects a subsection of the audio track and labels it. Our new interface for sound detection and annotation is different from existing applications in that we provide an interactive, general-purpose sound annotation environment that leverages the strength of both machine labeling and human labeling by user's feedback. I'm going to demonstrate how a user interacts with iSAD to label sound events. I'm uploading an audio file to be labeled. This audio track contains various sound events recorded in office environments. After uploading the audio file, you can define the target sound. If you have another audio file that contains the target sound event, you can upload it and select the target region like this. Or you can directly select the target sound on the current audio track. In this demo, I will select the initial target sound on the current audio track directly. Listening to the audio, <coughs> I'm selecting the coughing sound as the target sound. <coughs> and submit it to the system by clicking on the Find Similar Reasons button. Now the system suggests the five regions most likely to contain the target sound. Listening to each of them, if the suggested regions has the target sound, I click on positive button. <coughs> you can also adjust the boundaries of the regions so that each positive region fully covers the target sound. <coughs> if it does not contain the target sound at all, I click on the negative button. After labeling all five regions, I click on the Find Similar Regions again to submit my feedback to the system. A user repeats this process. As user feedback is submitted each round like this, the amount of labeled data increases, which will lead to more accurate machine suggestions. I have found all coughing sounds event by listening to only about 20% of the entire track. You can listen to all sound events you found here. <coughs> and download the labeled information and open it in a spreadsheet. As demonstrated in this demo, this new mixed initiative tool allows labeling long sound files faster than possible by hand and more accurately than possible by machine. 